Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Patreon page. I am Tracy Mayhem, and I'm here today with Jeff Hall. But before we get started, I want to thank my patrons. And um, that would be Linda and Kathy and Amy and Lori and Connie so far. And thank you guys, because your support means that I can keep doing this work. So, yes, thumbs up. And we have a lot of fun making these videos, as Jeff's about to find out. And hopefully you guys are having a lot of fun watching them, because, you know, they're not real structured, and that makes it a little more fun. And so, exactly. We can make faces. <laughs> All right. So, if you don't know who Jeff Hall is, which I think this group does, but if you are new to my Patreon page and you are seeing Jeff for the first time, he is an amazing artist and he does intuitive art. Um, so, let's tell a little bit about our story. You came, we talked. And I said, Jeff, try painting my guide or, or doing, you don't paint. Explain your process and then. I do paint. You do uh, paint. I do paint. Everything I do is based on painting. I've been a painter since before kindergarten. I always liked from finger painting on up, playing with things. Um, I ended up in a job where I use computers, but I still painted. Um, still paint. I still what, paint. Oh, what's that I thing do. you were doing that when I saw you and you had sand and water? And yeah. That was just another technique of using sand to paint with down at the beach. Um, it was a technique developed by a man named Fred Klein that came from the Midwest and saw the beautiful sand at Oregon and went, hey, this is free stuff. I wonder what it would do if I put it on canvas. And, and it turns out really cool. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, yeah. I paint with acrylic paints. I've painted with oils and all different kinds of materials, but I like acrylic because it dries fairly fast and I can build layers. Hmm. Uh, my paintings are like onions. They're layers. They're <laughs> pulled back and they're built up. And they're good onions. They're, they're good. walla walla. <laughs> walla walla eat onions most of the yes. time. <laughs> That's funny. So, so yeah, one of the first times that we connected, uh, one of the things I wanted you to do was to tune into me and create you, yeah. my guide. Yep. And, um, and I have that picture right here. Yes. This is my guide. And I remember leaving your office thinking, what in the world is she thinking? I'm going <laughs> to do that. She's the one who's the psychic. I, yeah. Oh, and um, I would poke the bear. Did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was, what was really fun for me and interesting and it's still frustrating is I know I don't see it. So as an artist, that frustrates the heck out of me. <laughs> the so challenge. It's a challenge. It's really a challenge for me. So I just have to do my thing and they come in. So they're coming into my other artwork now. Um, I have, I did a commission for, trees in Hillsboro. It's a big giant mural on the main wow. street, one of 10 pieces. And I worked on this painting for a month solid and it's four by eight feet. And I painted so many different paintings, but they came into the trees. So I have some examples online that I can show later. Yeah. It's kind of hard with this video because I'm chatting on the place where I put everything up. And so <laughs> I, I'll have to, uh, guide you to my website or yes. to book account. And, and we do want to do that. Uh, what, is, what is the website? Let's, let's put it out there right now. Oh, my website is jeffreyhallart.com. And I'm going to attach that to the information below this video. So if you're watching the video, don't worry about it. You can watch it to the end and then just go to the information below and click on Jeffrey's uh, jeffreyhallart.com and <laughs> they want to look at my spirit guide and angel paintings um i'm on facebook mostly with those and just look under allow the light allow the light you're gonna have to remind me of all these websites and links well, and then I i'll put them on and people will be able to find you because that's part of the fun of doing this patreon pages i want to make you easy to find for people as well Cool. And so, I'm going to encourage Jeff to create his own Patreon page. Okay, well, that just might happen. 
Um, <laughs> one more that I'm really having fun with is Instagram. So follow me, look me up at Cafe Jeff, C-A-F-E-J-E-F-F -F -E -F on Instagram. And that's where a lot of my stuff I put up first. And then yeah. it goes to my Facebook page. And I'm really enjoying Instagram because it's visual. You know, I, I relate that way. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I made you use the device that you were going to show us some of the pictures on, but you do have. The phone was too slow. The phone was too slow, guys. It was, it was blurring him out. It wouldn't have worked for us very well. But behind Jeff is a couple of pieces of art. Uh, not the one hanging on the wall because that one's not his. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, let's at least pull those up and um, show people what you got sitting behind you here. So, let's see if I can get the glare. Now, this looks like one that has layers. This has multiple layers. Um, it takes a while viewing it. Um, yeah, everything's built up of layers. Um, if you looked at it long enough, you might see some figures or some faces in there. And this it's is what I, different. yeah, I love this about your art. I could sit there and just stare at it and ask the art, what does it want me to see? And um, Oddly enough, down below, I see a mountain, and then I see lots of people. Mm -hmm. I see a crowd of people, and then if I ask for something else to see, then that crowd of people can turn into something else. And so to just look at your art, it offers so much because you put such amazing energy into it, and then that energy gets to be projected back to us when we're looking at it and finding the parts that stand out for us. Okay, so let's... That took me a while to figure out. People weren't buying my art. I used to do this. Every little hair had to be perfect, and I would do portraits, and they would look just like the people. And it's not about that. It's about the energy. People mm -hmm. are buying your energy. So when I'm my most honest and open, that's when it comes through. And I usually know it on the piece. Sometimes yeah. I... I mean, I worked, like I said, I worked a solid month for the piece um, that went up in Hillsborough and I was ready to throw it out the window, but it was like, ugh, you know, the, the material that it was on was really expensive. It was yeah. four by metal. Um, <laughs> so it just had to happen. And I learned so much, you know, my art teaches me so much. That's why I do it. Cause it's obviously not for the money. Let me tell you. <laughs> Um, let's support Jeff when he puts up his Patreon page. Let's go over there and, and support him. And well, then I try to keep all pieces affordable. You know, I do large pieces that I sell obviously in galleries and places around, but um, I try to make small pieces affordable and Hey, I, I will take payments from somebody. If they're really interested in my art, I want them to own art. I grew up and I hope my mom never listens to this, but she bought stuff from JC Penney's and all that kind of stuff. It really wasn't <laughs> art. Yeah. There, oh, it was just stuff. And it was like, I was just starving visually. Um, going to the art museum as a kid, you know, I, I love seeing those things. I'm like, why don't we have this in our house? And yeah. I just think education thing, they, they, they didn't get educated to that situation. So anyway, I'm trying to <laughs> do it one at a time. Um, I live with my dad and my stepmom in this beautiful house out in Gaston. I have a view on the hill and, um, you know, our tastes are very different, but occasionally they're like, oh, I love that. So, yeah. you know, it, it's fun to see parents. Um, it's really great that they are supportive of me. Even, even at my age now, I'm getting to know them. Yeah. So it's things that I didn't think were applicable to my dad because we're just like 180 on politics but our sense of humor is the same we can be at different ends of the house and we'll say the same thing which <laughs> drives stepmom crazy so it's kind of fun we we've <laughs> ganging up on the stepmom got it well yeah, she's you know she's <laughs> sensitive she just doesn't realize it yet and, and she's she's opening up she's uh she's coming a long way and hey for 76 years old She's got that iPhone and that iPad going all the time. So she's well versed in technology. And when she's not doing that, she's making all these great baked goods, which are not really good when you're trying to watch your weight. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like, hmm, do I eat the fresh apple pie or do I eat the salad over You here? eat the pie. Yeah. Eat no, the pie. I eat both. And then I'm just really messed up. You know, <laughs> I love One does not counteract the other. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> eat the pie, go for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Eat, so. eat the pie for a big walk. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at the piece on the other side, the, the other one that's hiding behind your shoulder there. So, this piece is more contemplative. Um, wow. It's, it it got makes me think of like Matrix or something. Yeah, but then if you, if you let it settle, this requires a couple hours of... Oh, I see the word high in there. Isn't that fun? So okay. you guys, I hope you're taking some time to just kind of even pause this video and just look at the, the art and see what pops out. Because, you know, just like Jeff's saying, as you move your, um, your position with how you're looking at the, the picture, you will see different things. I'm seeing an owl. How fun is that? I definitely see like a sun up in the corner. Um, Obvious reference. you know, there's the idea that it's water that's reflecting back. It, there's just so many things going on. It is I'm amazing. playing with your sense of space. You know, yeah. I don't always do a Western landscape. Sometimes I'll do a, an Eastern version where things get vertical and they move things around. So I like to play that with that. I typically call my pieces land escapes. So oh, it's nice attitude. Um, that they're not just a straight up landscape. Oh, it's a one hit wonder. You've seen everything when you, when you walk by it. I want it to be discovered and more nuanced. So it gives you something every time you walk by. Mm. You, know, you don't know what you're going to get because the light changes. You see something different. Exactly. It's, it's awesome. And I've had some of my, <laughs> one time I really got attached to one of Jeff's pieces of art. And I said, ooh, I really like that one. I wish that were mine. And then Jeff couldn't sell it. <laughs> so you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I had to take my energy off of it so that he could sell it um, because it wasn't supposed to be mine. And um, <laughs> <laughs> you did eventually sell that one, right? I don't remember which piece it was. Um, it was a vertical one. I think it looked like there was a waterfall coming down from it or something, but it's been a while. And I'm pretty sure you messaged me finally and said, okay, it finally sold. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I really claimed it. I, my energy really resonated with it, but I, it wasn't mine, but I did put my energy on it. it. And it's amazing how we can do stuff like that. And it not totally think about it. It's it, so it really worked that way. Yeah. And um, yeah, if I had infinite income, my house would be full of, of Jeff's art. <laughs> so it would be, I would have my walls wallpapered in it. I might even just have you come paint them directly. That would just be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's been kind of a new thing for me. I, uh, I did a giant mural when I was in high school and, you know, I kind of never got back to it. But after painting the large piece last month, I, I kind of like painting big again. I'm enjoying that. I want to paint giant pieces of work so wow that's, that's where I'm going. it's more physical yeah. so it's it's sort of the culmination of everything it's mental physical and spiritual it really is and I think that's been that was the missing piece for me for years the spiritual part it was coming in but I didn't recognize it I was fighting it wow so, I'm glad you let it in it, it's such an amazing such an amazing piece to the art to just sit there with the energy of it and allow the art to show you what it wants you to see. And that's the gift that you give with the art you do. So it, it's also a gift to me. I have to say that it benefits me as much as, as anyone else, but I really love seeing people have something that makes them happy or at least makes them think, yeah. you know, cause I do pretty pictures. I do things that open you up and make you make you feel. That's my intent anyway. When I'm doing my best work, that's what happens. Yeah. 
I, I think it, that you achieve that. I know that it's always fun to go to your your Facebook page or your website and, and look at the different things that you're posting. Your Instagram. I am horrible at getting on Instagram, but you do post more there. <laughs> so I, I do I try to get over there and look at them. Um, now they will go to my Jeffrey Hall art page on Facebook too. So, um, oh, good. So yeah, I've got we it. We will linked. see more. So immediately I will see more. So. <laughs> so find me on Jeffrey Hall art uh, on Facebook. I'm not sure how that works, but if you go to my Jeff Hall page, it will, it will link you in. So. Yeah. And I'll, and like I said, I'll put some links below this video for people to find you. And uh, eventually, if you do decide to do your own Patreon page, <laughs> then um, we'll put we'll add that to it later. So perfect. Well, thank you, Jeff, for being my face-to-face -face guest today. And hopefully, all of our watchers, um, all the patrons, uh, have enjoyed our show and our goofiness. Thank all the patrons, yay! Supporting Tracy because she really does an excellent job. I, I recommend her to everyone I see. <laughs> How many people do you see? I'm just kidding. I see a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Yes, come find me, tracymahan.com. Find me on Patreon and find Jeff Hall and Jeff Hall, art, jeffreyhallart.com. Okay, you guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.